Alright, what's going on guys? Luke here with another PvP build for the higher chapter. I'm on my Magicka Sorcerer with the new mythic item Sea Serpent's Coil, which gives major berserk and major courage, but it also snares for 40%. The proc condition, you need to be full health and in combat and you need to be attacked while you're full health and in combat. But it's not a big problem on the Magicka Sorcerer to get full life with two shields pretty easy to get. Then still crafty Alfik on the body for maximum magicka which increase our shields and also our damage. Backbar still willpower, two pieces for more max magicka and front bar instead of dragon, the nerfed Sally dragon, I use Kanurian for maximum burst damage and one piece of Domi House. Traits 5 Impen, two well fitted, one heavy, six light by the way, then full arcane on the jewelry, one spell damage, one recovery and one tri-stat region, sharpened inferno stuff with the shock damage glyph on the front bar and back bar powered. And well fitted, sword and board for extra resistance and more max magica as poisons, like always the escape is poisons. There are many options with this build. If you don't like the snare, just go with Death Leader's Feet still. Works fine like previous patch. But I prefer Sea Serpent's Coil, the damage is insane with it, Major Berserk and Courage. But the snare is kinda annoying to be honest. If you don't like the snare, you could use Maraud on the back bar. This set here, which gives 20% extra movement speed if you shield yourself. And also the other bonuses with two Magicka recovery, Max Magicka is pretty nice for the back bar. Or for a more static playstyle, go with Iron Blood. It will snare you even more for another 50%, but will uh, reduce your damage taken by 30%. So it's up to you. I've tested both sets and I still prefer just willpower on the back bar. Front bar instead of Kalurion. There is this treasure here, Savage Werewolf. I've also used it on my stamina sorcerer build. Works fine. It has no cooldown, deals a good amount of bleed damage and helps for single target dot pressure. Instead of Savage Werewolf, there is another proxy called Way of Fire. This one. Small cooldown, only 2 seconds and deals over 2k flame damage. Pretty decent. So it's up to you which set fits in with your playstyle. I still prefer this one. For me it's the best one. With Willpower, Kalurion, Serpent's Coil, Crafty Afik and Domi House. Skills wise, nothing has changed. The same like in the previous patch. Boundless Storm, our resistance buff, and for Mage Expedition, Haunting Curse, a spammable Crushing Shocks, or the Psychic Spammable Elemental Weapon, it's up to you to choose. Then Crystal Fragment still, and Streak is ultimate, two options, Greater Storm Atonarch for a more 1vx open feed fight, or Power Overload for more single time pressure. Back bar, damp magic, and hardened ward, or two shields. Vigor still a self heal. Bound egg is just slotted for 8% more max magica and minor resolve, another 3k resistance. Dark conversions for sustained healing, and spell wall as defensive ultimate. Race still high off for weapon and spell damage. Magicka and Sustain, probably the best choice for a Magicka Sorcerer, then my Breton should work too. Esmundo still the mage for Max Magicka and Sugar Scouts, the Tricet food as Buffoot. 64 points in Magicka as attribute points. Potions, I use 3 different potions, depends on the situation. For more damage, the normal spell power potions against multiple targets, normally the tricep potions, and against annoying gang blades, the detection potions. 
CPs, Daily Aim, Master Dumps, Dual Sweep of an Ironclad, Red Ones, Pain's Refuge, Sustained by Suffering, Shield Master and Bastion. Alternative, you can also use Celerity for more movement speed if you want. Just swap out Shield Master or Bastion for that. But I prefer the cost reduction and increase shields more. Now, like always, with some gameplay footage. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, guys, and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Peace. Thank you for